In growing the real economy, honorable members, it means that expanding business, it means growing the real economy means expanding business activity and other relevant economic activity. We recognize the key role that the private companies and other enterprises play in our economy. In the lead up to the budget, we engaged with several business leaders on the investment and development challenges we face in South Africa. Allow me to share with you some of their plans, which signals growing confidence in the business outlook, despite the difficult conditions that we face. And here are a few examples. Construction and refurbishment by a company in the hospitality sector of about 2.5 billion rands in the next 18 months, and the expansion of 3 billion rands in the pipeline. Two telecommunications investments amounting to 14 billion rands this year. Capital expenditure of 3.4 billion rands over the next three years by a rail and logistics operator. A 2.5 billion rand expansion and longer term plans of 15 billion rands in mining projects. Investments of 14 billion rands this year by a leading retailer and plans to open 100 new stores by another. An expansion of 1.2 billion rands this year by a food and beverage sector firm. Plans for some 28 billion rands in long-term infrastructure investment by a leading industrial company, which will create 10,000 temporary and 4,000 permanent jobs. In recent times, the world has become a more uncertain place for businesses, causing some to uh, build cash reserves, both here in South Africa and outside of South Africa, rather than invest in new or expanding operations. As government, we wish to encourage businesses to keep investing in our economy and seize the opportunities around us. We are therefore reinforcing several initiatives that uh, support business development. The Manufacturing Competitiveness Enhancement Program, MCEP as it is called, that announced in 2012 has received a total of 215 applications with requests for grants totaling 2.3 billion rands, mainly from the chemicals, metals, and agro-processing sectors. Applications are expected to increase over the period ahead, and funding of 1.7 billion rands per year has been provided on the budget of the Department of Trade and Industry. The Special Economic Zone Program, also announced last year, has received funding to build world-class industrial parks. We are in discussion with Minister Davies. Go ahead, clap. We need a bit of a break. We are in discussion with Minister Davies on specific tax incentives to enhance this initiative. The Jobs Fund, announced in 2011, has concluded two calls for proposals. 3,600 applications have been received. 65 projects are on their way and grant funding of some 3.3 billion rands has been approved, matched by a further 3.1 billion rands from the private sector. So it's 6 billion rands commitments in all. Small and medium and micro enterprises play a key role in the development of the economy and are a significant generator of employment. Financing of SMMEs has been simplified with the creation of the Small Enterprise Finance Agency by Minister Patel, we have been progressing, progressively working to simplify the tax requirements for small businesses, and you'll hear some of it later. The turnover threshold will be increased this year, and the graduate rate, graduated rate of structure will be revised as well.